Right now we are in downtown Miami because our plane leaves in like seven hours. So what better time to do a reaction video in the part of the conquest? John, I got a question. Go for it. What was your favorite part about the trip? Favorite part? Relaxation, R and R. R and R, relaxation. We had hella sea days. We did, man. And yeah. what did we do on the sea day? You just do whatever we'll do whatever you want. Yeah, man. Lots of drinking. Made use of that drink package. Definitely made use of the drink package. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't record every drink, but we got our money's worth times two. What about you? What was your favorite part? What was my favorite part? It's a good question. I wasn't, I wasn't ready to be asked any questions. Honestly, my favorite part of any cruise is uh, the social aspect. And the fact that phones don't work at sea and no one's on social media or texting. Texting a little bit because there is the, the text package. What was that, five bucks? Yeah. So how did that work? So you paid the five dollars for the text package. Yeah, yeah. And you can text anyone. Anyone like, that else paid that's on the cruise ship. Yeah. yeah. So um, did you have to get like their room number or like just have their name or? No, you just, you just their name. Just and have you add them as a friend. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. It, um, we we had some people that we met on the on the cruise ship, but uh, uh, John's the only one that got the Wi-Fi and the text package. I didn't. I didn't do anything. I just stayed disconnected. Oh, excuse me, I stay disconnected. So another thing that that I did on this ship that I didn't know on my last two cruises uh, was eat at the buffet a whole lot. A whole lot more. We went to the dining room once. Yeah. John, what was your opinion about the main dining room? I mean, like, it was the food was good, but it wasn't as good as the buffet to me. Um, you gotta wait a little long before the food when you just go to the buffet and make it how you want to make it. And honestly, uh, the buffet was really good. Was I mean, good. there was only like maybe one or two times where my food was was not like super, super piping hot, but it's obviously it's a buffet, yeah. right? So it's not gonna be super fresh, but it's still really good. I mean, and obviously a whole lot quicker. Salads in the buffet, if you're a salad person, you would love the buffet because the yeah. salads in the main dining room they're really small. You get a little Caesar salad, you can get a little beet salad, you get a little um, spinach salad, and it's a small side salad. But if you go up to the buffet, you can make your own salad. John, what about the the uh, the entertainment? Did you hear any like any of the band play, or did you hear the guitar player? Oh yeah, the or did, band, what did you hear? The, uh, band down on the third floor. That band was good. Um, yeah, they were really the good. That we saw there was one. There was a strings band. Oh, the violins too. The, the violins. violins. Yeah, the violins were good. Their, their were name good. was Cadenza, and man, they were like there was like electric violins. Yeah. So they weren't they weren't the full ones, and they played like pop music. They had like Michael Jackson set. I heard like Bruno Mars. Super talented. Yeah. Um, the band though, the band was jumping. The band I mean, was good. yeah, you get people up there dancing and stuff. They did a Stevie Wonder set. They had some Michael Jackson. Yeah, yeah. Really um, friendly too. Yes, friendly. It was a male and a female singer. Yeah. Um, and they kind of alternated. Sometimes they sang duets. Yeah, they did, they did, and that makes sense because you know you sing, and then I sing, you sing, I sing. Give your vocals a break. Yeah. All right. Another thing that we did was go to the gym. Oh yeah. A good amount. Well, we only went. We went twice. Two out of three times, so that's good. Not bad. We couldn't go the first day because the gym opened at six, which is weird. Right. The 6 last PM. cruise, yeah, six p.m. The last cruise I was on. People were in the gym at like three and four, so I don't know why that the Carnival Conquest had the gym opening at six. Maybe there was like some kind of weird turnover there. Yeah. Um, but I thought the gym's good. There's a lot of cardio machines. Um, there's something for each body part. Um, free weights. A lot of free weights, yeah. They go up pretty heavy to like 80, 80 pounds or so. 80 pound dumbbells. Um, steam room. Oh yeah, that's my job. Anybody that knows me knows that I work out. Post workout, hit that steam room for about 10 to 15. Shower, lukewarm shower, dry off in the sauna. So you took Try that, change your life. I'm trying to tell you. So you took showers uh, up up in the gym. I, yeah, I took shower. Now. Yeah, you took showers in the gym. Yeah. So they had their own soap and everything. So um, provided yeah. lots of towels. Locker room was nice, nice enough. It was decent. Always clean. It's very clean. clean. Somebody was always clean. That's one thing that I, I don't know if I said this on camera, but I'll keep saying it. The cleanliness of the Carnival Cruises is 
I think goes unnoticed. All right, I got a question. Um, what was your favorite place to hang out? You know, we got the Lido deck, we got the casino bar, we have the lobby bar. Um, there's the piano bar, there's a karaoke joint. Do you have a favorite spot? Which like to hang? Definitely like the Lido. Definitely likes the Lido. Lido deck, right next to the bar. Cost some spades players slipping. <laughs> Cost some chess players. Hey, hey, First chess of all, player. dude came up to me, anybody that knows me, came up to me and was like, oh yeah, I play chess. I was like, no, you don't. <laughs> Look, man, John, <laughs> yo, John, drop your chess.com handle. What's your chess, what's your chess handle? Chess handle is JM Cooper on chess.com. Come see me if you want to play. Just send me a little three minute, that's why I usually play three minute chess. You know. He's always up for a game. I'll put I'll put it in the description below. Go ahead yeah, and man. holla at John if you want to play, play some man. chess. Right, I mean, Masters, they got they go down too. Masters go down. <laughs> He's not lying. That's the crazy part. <laughs> so John likes the Lido deck. Honestly, Lido Lido is one of the it's if you have a room on on the deck 9 on Lido, you don't have to leave deck 9 ever. You got your food, you got your bar, you got your pools, you got your hot tub. Like everyone hangs out there. Slide. You got a slide for the pool too. The slide, the slide. I got on the slide twice. How many times did you get on the slide? About five or six times. Five or six times. Yeah. It was it was fun. Right. I was going pretty fast. The water hits your nose pretty good, so yeah. you know, be ready for that. But it was a, it was a nice slide. Nice slide. Nice way to cool off. Sometimes it gets hot up there on the Lido deck. Yeah. So you just run up to the slide. And there's, down one time to jump in there and go grab another shot. And there's always like like new events going on. There's a DJ up there, the steel drum player, the cruise director comes up and he's always doing some kind of event. Um, like the cruise for St. Jude, that was a nice event. Um, like all kinds of dance parties and stuff. Lido's cool, Lido's some cool. Some guy was ice sculpting up there. You saw that, I didn't see that, ice sculpting? Wow. Ice sculpting, yeah. Well, that's crazy, that's crazy. It was uneventful. <laughs> Perfect, yeah. <laughs> 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 my favorite part, I like the lobby bar. The lobby bar is always my favorite part. It's my favorite part of every every cruise ship, though. I mean, it's constantly changing. There's all kinds of events going on. The bartenders were great at this lobby bar, though. Uh, shout out to Cy J and Maria, if you are watching this. Y'all are the best bartenders at Carnival. It was so much fun. Um, yeah, and the music's changing. There's, like, trivia down there. And the crowd's always changing, so there's always just a new wave of people coming in. It's a good place to hang. We didn't do the casino. That's because the... Oh my god. The odds were crazy. Come on, man. If you're a casino player, if you like to gamble, we were just kind of looking at the payouts and the odds. And if you know anything about these games, then you already know you have a bad, a bad chance to win. However, there was one Texas Hold'em game, I think it was a bonus game, and the payouts for quads was 10 to 1. Quads. Quads for Pecan. He played poker like... How often do you hit quads? <laughs> ten, ten, 10 to 1? 10 to 1? No wonder everyone loses. <laughs> so I went to the nightclub every night. John missed one night. Yeah. But the club, there were a lot of people up in the club every night. Hundreds of people. However, the DJ did a great job of getting us all off the dance floor. He was trash. He, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really sad, honestly, because the, the crowd was ready to party, ready to dance. Everyone was ready to have a good time. And the music selection was just not, not very good. It, it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. So um, that was my biggest complaint. And actually, at the very end of the cruise, you know, I went to go say hi to the guy, just being polite. And I asked him, how long have you been working uh, as a DJ on the Carnival Conquest. His answer, five days. So I don't think he's going to be working there that much longer. Um, <laughs> this opinion was pretty unanimous uh, when we talked about people on the ship about the DJ. Not the best. I didn't get to go to any of the comedy shows or any of the production shows. However, one thing that's worth noting, the comedy show on the very last night had to get moved to the large auditorium because it was so packed every single night. Probably pretty funny. Now, 
was the worst thing about the Carnival Conquest? I'm gonna give you a worst thing about all Carnival Cruise Lines, and that is the fact that between lunch and dinner, between 3.30 and 5.30, there was absolutely two or three places, two or three different places to eat. And it's just not enough. The guy's burger, I mean, I don't eat beef, so it's not even an option for me. And you go to the deli and the line takes forever. I mean, seriously, it got to the point where I just got out of line and got sushi instead. Now, the sushi was really good. It was an upcharge for that. I think I paid like uh, $6 for my vegetarian roll and $8 for my salmon poke bowl. Very delicious. But, like I said, between 3.30 and 5.30, there's just not many food options. So if you miss dinner, you miss, or excuse me, if you miss the buffet, you miss lunch, you miss brunch, you're kind of SOL. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on my next ship.